Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome to my class Mastery Mathematics with Teacher Nabila. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more upcoming video. Okay, for our class today, we are going to continue our previous lesson on topic Common Factors and Highest Common Factor or HCF. In our previous lesson, you have learned about how to find factors. Okay, for example, list all the factors of 10. So you can list down all the factor of 10. Which number is divisible by 10? So factors of 10 equal to 1, 2, 5, and 10. And then you, you also have learned about prime factors. Okay, for example, list all the prime factors of 10. So the, from the listing just now, you can find prime number. So prime factors of 10 equal to 2 and 5. This is the previous knowledge you have learned in our previous video. Okay, so for today, we are going to learn about common factors. Common factors are the same factors in both numbers. For example, find all the common factors of 12 and 18. So we want to find the common factor. How to find common factors? Step 1, we list all the factors of 12 and 18. So you list down factor of 12 and factor of 18. Remember how to find the factor of 12. Factor of 12, 12 is 1 times 12. 2 times 6, 3 times 4, and no more. So that is a factor of 12. Factor of 18 is 1 times 18, 2 times 9, 3 times 6, and no more. So this is how we uh, list the factor of this number. Okay, this is the fastest way. Okay, or you can also use the previous way uh, how you list down the division of the number. Okay, next from here, step 2, we circle the same number from the list. Okay, so you look at the list here. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 12, 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, 18. So from this, we compare and we circle the same number. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 6. So this number we contain in both 12 and 18. So that is the common factor of 12 and 18 equal to 1, 2, 3, and 6. Okay, this is the way to find the common factors. Okay, we look at another example. Find all the common factors of 6, 12, and 16. So same, first step, you list down the factor of 6, factors of 12, and factors of 16. Okay, so you list down like this. This is a factor of 6, 1, 2, 3, 6. Factors of 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 12. Factors of 16, 1, 2, 4, 8, 16. So from here, we circle the same number. Okay, remember you look at here, even 3, you, even 3 is the factor of 6 and 3 also is the factor of 16, but 3 is not the factor of 16. So mean that 3 is not the common factor of 6, 12 and 16. So we just circle the number which have the same for the all the factors here. Okay, so from there we can list down the common factor of 6, 12 and 16 are 1 and 2. That is the common factors. Okay, now we look at the highest common factor. Okay, highest common factor or HCF. So method 1, we use the listing the factors. Okay, listing the factors. For example, find the highest common factor of 6, 12, and 16. 
So what to do is you list down the common factor of 6, 12 and 16. So I take the same example. This is the common factor you find just now. 6, 12 and 16. So your common factor equal to 1 and 2. So you list down the common factor of 6, 12 and 16 at equal to 1 and 2. This is the common factor you find by using this method. Listing the factor. You list all the factor. You find the same number or the common factor. Okay, now we want to find the highest. Highest means the greatest. So from this list, list this only, uh, this list only. Do not take this, this list. Com uh, this is a factor of each number. We want to find the common factor. So, so from this list, we find the highest one. So 1 and 2, the highest one should be 2. So our HCF equal to 2. Okay, so this is the highest. Highest means only one answer. Okay, so the biggest one, the greatest one. So this is equal to 2. Okay, next. You, we are using method 2. Okay, same. We want to find the HCF. So method 2, we use algorithm or repeated division. So this is algorithm. Find the HCF of 12 and 18. Okay, we want to find the HCF using this method. So this is algorithm. What you have to do is, you have the number 12 and 18. So this 12 and 18, you put here. Okay, you put here. And then, here is, you must divide by prime numbers. Okay, you divide by prime numbers, which can divide these two numbers, both. Both number can divide this one. Okay. So, we divide by 2. We start with the smallest prime number. Okay, smallest prime number is 2. 12, we can divide by 2. 18, also, we can divide by 2. So, we put 2 here. So, 12 divided by 2 equal to 6. And 18 divided by 2 equal to 9. So, you write down the answer below here. Okay, 12 divided by 2 equal to 6. 18 divided by 2 equal to 9. So you divide again by 3. Why you divide by 3? Because 9, if you want to divide by 2, 6 can divide by 2. But 9 cannot divide by 2. So we cannot use 2 here. So we divide by 3. So 6 we can divide by 3 become 2. 9 also we can divide by 3 become 3. Okay, now this one. No more number can be divided. No more prime number. If we divide by 2, 3 cannot. If we divide by 3, 2 cannot. So we stop here. Stop when no more prime number can be divided. Okay, so you stop here. So our HCF is this one. This you must times. Okay, 2 times 3. So HCF equal to 2 times 3. So 2 times 3 equal to 6. So this is algorithm or repeated division. This is the famous method because this is the easiest method and fastest method. Rather than you use the listing the factor, okay, it will take more time. Okay, this one is the simple one. So we I recommend us to use this method. Okay, now we look at another example. Find the HCF of 12, 24, and 48. So we use the repeated division, same, same method. Okay, like this. So we have 12, 24, and 48. So we write down, write down here, 12, 24, and 48. So which number we can divide here? Okay, the smallest one is 2. All numbers can divide by 2. So we put 2 here. So 12 divided by 2 equal to 6. 24 divided by 2 equal to 12. 48 divided by 2, you get 24. So you write down the answer below here. Okay, now we look at this. Which number we can divide? Can we divide by 2? 6 can? Yes. 12 can? Yes. 24 also can. So we divide by 2. So 6 divided by 2 equal to 3. 12 divided by 2 equal to 6. 24 divided by 2 equal to 12. Any number we can divide again here? 
If we divide by 2, 3 cannot. If we divide by 3, 3 can. 6 also can. 12 also can. So we can divide by 3. So 3 divided by 3 equal to 1. 6 divided by 3 equal to 2. 12 divided by 3 equal to 4. And then no more number can be divided. Okay. Stop when no more prime number can be divided. So no more. If you divide by 2, this on this 2 can, but this cannot. So we stop here. So our HCF is this one. 2 times 2 times 3. So our HCF equal to 12. So this is how we want to find HCF using repeated division. Okay, next we want to find we want to look at a method 3, prime factorization. For example, find the HCF of 8 and 32. Prime factorization is using the factor 3. Remember last time you learned about uh, factor 3? So we list the prime factorization of each number. Each number. Okay, 8. So this one you have learned previously. 8 is 2 times 4. 4, uh, 2 already prime number. 4 heaven. So we divide again. 4 is 2 times 2. So 8 equal to 2 times 2 times 2. Okay, 2 times 2, 4. 4 times 2, 8. So same. So we use the prime number only. So this is 8. How about 32? 32 is 2 times 16. 2 is prime number. 16 not yet. So 16 is 2 times 8. 2 is prime number. 8 not yet. So 8 we divide again. 2 times 4. 2 prime number. 4 not yet. So 4 we divide again. 2 times 2. Then complete. So mean that okay, 32 equal to 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Okay, so we write down like this. 2 times 2, how many 2? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is how we list the prime factorization. Okay, from here, we want to find the HCF. So you look at the same number, which have both number have the same number okay we have this one this another one and this another one this one don't have the pair so we leave this one we don't take this one okay if the number don't have any pair so we don't take so mean that our hcf is two times two times two so two times two times two two times two four four times two eight so our hcf equal to eight this is the method 3. Okay, usually uh, this one is uh, also can use in finding the HCF. But as usual, I suggest you to use method 2. Okay, repeated division or algorithm. Okay, now we look at this one, exercise. By using a suitable method, find the highest common factor of 30 and 72. So you can use any method you prefer. Either you want to use listing the factor first and then you find the same number. Or if you want to use method 2, algorithm. Or you want to use method 3, prime factorization. Depend on you. But I suggest you to use algorithm. Okay, I give you one minute to solve this. Okay, now I show you the answer. Okay, find the highest common factor of 30 and 72. So I want to use algorithm 30 and 72. I write down here. So which prime number can be divided here? 30 can divide by 2. 72 also can divide by 2. So we put 2. So 30 divided by 2 equal to 15. 72 divided by 2 equal to 36. Okay, if you divide by 2 again, 15 cannot. So we divide by 3. Okay, we divide by 3. 15 divided by 3 equal to 5. 36 divided by 3 equal to 12. Okay, so from here, no more prime number can be divided. We cannot divide by 2. We cannot divide by 3. We cannot divide by 5. This can divide by 5, but this cannot. So we just leave the answer here. 
So our HCF equal to 2 times 3, so equal to 6. Okay, now we look at problem solving. For a telemesh event, a teacher wants to arrange 60 boys and 72 girls in identical groups in such a way that the number of boys and girls in the, is the same in each group. Find the maximum number of groups that can be formed. State the numbers of boys and girls in each group. So we want to find the maximum numbers of group. Okay, so maximum, remember we want to find the greatest, the highest. So we use HCF. So HCF, use, uh, use algorithm or repeated division. So we have 60 boys and 72 girls. So I write down here 60 and 72. So 60 and 72 can divide by 2. So we put 2 here, 60 divided by 2 equal to 30, 72 divided by 2 equal to 36. And then this one we still can divide by 2, okay, we can divide by 2, so 30 divided by 2 equal to 15, 36 divided by 2 equal to 18. Okay, so this one we cannot divide by 2 here, but we can divide by 3. Okay, so it's 15 divided by 3 equal to 5. 16, uh, 18 divided by 3 equal to 6 and then normal number can be divided so we stop here so our HCF equal to 2 times 2 times 3 so 2 times 2 4 4 times 3 equal to 12 so the maximum number of groups can be formed is 12 so 12 groups can be formed okay now the question number 2 state the number of boys and girls in each group Okay, actually this one, what you get here is the boy. 60 just now, we want to arrange 60 boys. So, mean that in each group should be 5 boys. And 72 groups, uh, sorry, 72 girls, when you uh, divide into group, mean that each group should have 6 girls. Okay, from here. So, mean that, hence, uh, there will be 5 boys and 6 girls in each group. Okay, so for the offline class, this is your exercise. Okay, please do this in your exercise book and uh, we will discuss this one in our next lesson. Okay, so that's all for, for today. Thank you for watching. I hope that you will get something from this video. Have a nice day. Goodbye.